Welcome to Library Out Loud, a conversation about any and all things related to the Spokane County Library District. Library Out Loud is brought to you by the Spokane County Library District and our friends at STCU. Now, here's your host, Jane Baker. Hello and welcome to Library Out Loud. I'm Jane Baker, the Communication and Development Director for the Spokane County Library District. Joining me today is Sherry Boggs. Sherry uh, is an esteemed colleague at the Spokane County Library District as well. You are the Youth Collection Development Librarian. Yes. Yes, that's quite a title. It is. (laughs) Um, Basically, we've had you on the program before Mm -hmm. and talked about your job. You have this awesome job of choosing books for youth. Yes. For the library, for the library district. Right. So, um, Everybody zero through 18. So Yeah, yeah. your office is Big a range. delight to walk into. <laughs> so many fun books, so many great things that um, you have going on. But today we're going to talk about a little more serious subject other than all the great stuff that you do. Um, we're talking about a program that we have coming up at the library district at three of our libraries. Uh, it's called Consent. It's as simple as tea, or tea and consent is what we're calling it, um, because of a YouTube video. Mm-hmm. So um, we have our Engage magazine. This is our um, program guide. If you haven't seen it or if you haven't picked one up, they're available at your local library. They are free, and they tell you all the different programs we have. And in here, it gives um, a bit of a, a discussion about this program. It's right here in the middle. So um you can find out a little bit more about uh, tea and consent, but we're going to talk about some of it right now. So w- somebody going, tea and consent, what is this, a <laughs> program about tea? But oh, it is no. not. <laughs> <laughs> it is a program about consent. Um, let's talk about tea and consent. It's a YouTube video. Tell me about it. It is. Um, so this, I first became aware of this video about a year ago. Um and I believe it's called Consent, It's As Easy As Tea. And it's a British, um, I believe an ad agency in Great Britain made this video. And it basically talks about approaching sexual situations in dating, like pouring somebody a hot cup of tea. And so it kind of goes through all these scenarios in kind of a playful way. Like, you know, you can invite them over to your house for a cup of tea, but that doesn't mean that they have to drink it. Uh Or you can start pouring the tea, and if they change their mind, that doesn't mean that they have to drink the tea. And so it kind of, um, you know, explores these different situations in kind of a metaphor that's easy for people to understand. And also, you know, it kind of takes a serious topic and... Um, approaches it in kind of a playful way. Sure, sure. Right. It makes it a little easier to understand. It's yeah. not always an easy discussion to have. Right. And that makes it makes it a little easier. So then during our program, the program that happens, uh-huh. consent is, it, it's as simple as tea. Uh, we're showing the video. We are. Um, so we're going to show the video and we're going to break into groups afterwards. Mm-hmm. And this is, um, the program is kind of, designed for adults that work with teens or are concerned about teens. So it'll be like for parents, for teachers, for counselors. Great. Um, Teens are welcome to come, of course, if they want to. That would be awesome. Sure. Um, But we're going to break into groups. Mm -hmm. And after watching the video, we're going to kind of break down some common dating situations um, and scenarios and kind of brainstorm ways like that plays out in the real world and different things that you can say and, um, you know, how some of these situations are commonly interpreted. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we'll do that. And then the second video that we're going to show is from New Zealand and that's called, who are you? And that one's a little bit longer. It's about 20 minutes and it's fascinating because it shows this evening where a girl is getting ready to go to a party and it shows all the different people that she interacts with, Mm -hmm. um, going to this party, the people that she meets coming home and you see all these different places in which somebody can step in and stop a sexual assault from happening. Like you see the roommate, you know, kind of watching with a little bit of side eye. You see the guy kind of sizing up the situation and realizing how drunk the girl is. You uh. see him talking to his buddies. Like, you see the, all these different um, places in which you can get involved. And I think that's really hard for people to do is feel like they can 
intervene in somebody's personal life. Sure, um, sure. And so it kind of shows like, you know, this is kind of everybody's responsibility and who are you in these different scenarios. And mm-hmm. so after that one, um, we'll have a panel of um, actual teen volunteers, like from, I think, Planned Parenthood's Teen Council. We might have some kids from the Odyssey mm-hmm. Center. Um, and that's going to be really a good opportunity, I think, for adults to hear from actual teens, um, you know, kind of how they look at these dating situations and some real world strategies that they've come up with for kind of starting these conversations or stepping in when you need to. Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds great because yeah. um, you, you mentioned the, the teen consent um, uh, kind of a fun, easy way to to talk about this, but then after the video is over, <laughs> yeah, then yeah. then there, then real life happens, and it's like, well, okay, this isn't quite as easy as the tea thing. So this program kind of breaks down and works into that and um, discusses some real life situations right. and how best to handle them or start those conversations with you know the teens in your lives too sure um, sure you know from a place of not necessarily telling them what to do but kind of saying you know it's been a while since i was a teen but you know some things haven't changed and you know i understand i'm someone you can come to for questions and you know i'm here to talk to mm-hmm. and here's some strategies for if you get into these situations like mm-hmm. i'm not here to judge i'm here to help um, yes yeah uh, very good so yeah. um the class for parents counselors teachers mm-hmm. and but teens are welcome as well but yeah. it sounds like a great program that probably anyone could attend and get some good information from absolutely right um this is a very hot topic these yeah. days in fact um before this program started it was you know we were talking about how hot of a topic this is, and, and it's become very um, controversial and and yeah, uh, not always easy to talk about. Although it should be right, right, um, yeah. Why isn't it a, an easy know. thing to it's talk like, about? It's like as we're talking, I feel like I'm getting red. Just oh. it's probably showing up on camera. Um, but yeah, I think I think for people it's awkward because we're talking about sexual activity. It's a private thing. Sure. Um, and I think. You know, we're not really kind of taught how to mm-hmm. deal with these difficult situations or have mm-hmm. these conversations about things that are uncomfortable to talk about. Uncomfortable, and they have been um, for women for for yeah. centuries. It yeah. seems like you know, um, it's like it seems like every woman I know has a story, right? Yeah. Yes, almost every woman, and and there are men too exactly. that also have the story. Um, and but how do you talk about that? How do you bring things up? And and so many women who have not. Um, told people because they oh, won't yeah. be believed or they have told people and or they're, they're, they're believed or they're blamed or, or like those types of things. Why didn't you leave? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a very tough um, topic. And, the, and if you're a teen mm-hmm. and, um, I, you know, it depends on the situation the teen's in. If the teen's with other teens at a, yeah. at, a, at a house party or something, that's one situation. But what if you were in a situation where it was um, a teacher or, or oh, someone gosh. of authority uh, like that changes, or, yeah, yeah. It changes the whole dynamic in a different way? And is that also discussed in the program, that type of thing? Or is it more... Um, I... I hope that it will be. Like, I'm trying to think. I've watched both videos numerous times, Mm -hmm. and they seem both more um, kind of dating-oriented. Okay. But I feel like there's helpful information in both of those kind of, you know, because I think, um, I'm interrupting myself, but I think with teens, like, sometimes, especially with an authority figure, somebody that they look up to, there's so much noise that can happen, you know, in a young person's head. Like, you know, on the one hand, they're flattered. Sure. Um... You know, but also confused. Like, this is a person that I look up to. And, you know, it's like, do I want this? Do I not want this? How do I get out of this without, you know, angering this person or mm-hmm. making this person upset? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, or cutting off a source, you know, of affection that might be in this young person's life. You know, like it comes up with family members, too. Sure. Um, wow. So, yeah, it's incredibly complicated. So I'm hoping that this program, you know, through some of the discussions can give... Mm-hmm people ideas of how to kind of navigate some of these things yes yes um to consent it's as simple as tea Mm -hmm. or i'm simply calling it tea and consent um it is coming up on in april Mm -hmm. uh at the spokane county library district uh uh, three of our libraries moran prairie library on april 9th north spokane 
on April 12th and out in Cheney mm-hmm. on April 16th. And there are um, going to be the two videos and panel discussions that include representatives from Eastern Washington University, Lutheran Community Services, um, Community Services Northwest, sorry, uh, the Spokane County Library District, Whitworth University, the YWCA, and other community and teen organizations. So we have a wonderful panel of experts. Yes. um, You know, experts in our area who are there to help teens and kids Mm -hmm. and and parents and and caregivers as well uh, on how to best approach this. Um, Great program, a very important program, and... um, we're, we're thrilled to have it yeah. at, at the library district. Again, it's at those three locations coming up in April. You can um, go to scld.org for all the times, dates, locations of these programs, and more. Um, you have brought some books, or at least one book with you. <laughs> yeah. And um, we al- so we also have other resources at the library aside from just this program. So we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and talk about those resources awesome here on library out loud we'll be right back is your child having trouble coping with a personal disability but don't know where to go consider our friends at breakthrough incorporated breakthrough takes great pride in mentoring their dda clients who have intellectual disabilities and their brs clients who have challenging behaviors toward the creation of safe appropriate ethically sound life goals They integrate programs at school and home to enrich their lives. They work hard to make a positive difference in you and your family's lives. Breakthrough provides a highly structured, fully staffed residential setting in local neighborhoods. Six in Spokane and two in the Tri-Cities. Diagnosis affects people differently, so their service to each resident is unique, giving them the opportunity to grow and evolve. For more information on Breakthrough, visit their website at BreakthroughIncorporated.org. Hi, this is Kurt Stockwell with Well-Dressed Walrus. We are a local website design and development company here in Spokane. What we do is build beautiful, usable websites for local businesses. A website needs to be beautiful. It needs to be usable for your users, your customers, and yourself. Contact us anytime. We'd love to talk with you about your online marketing. What? You haven't been to the library lately? Stop in today and see that the library is more than books. Spokane County Library District facilities feature on-site technology, including Wi-Fi, computers, and printers, as well as free use of meeting rooms. The Library District offers events and programs for all ages, from story times to career development and employer classes to social security workshops. Our staff is well-trained and happy to help. Find out more about your library at scld.org. Hello and welcome back to Library Out Loud. I'm Jane Baker with the Spokane County Library District and with me today, Sherry Boggs, also with the Library District. And we're talking about a program called Consent. It's as simple as tea and this has to do with Consent in Sexual Situations, a Mm -hmm. great program coming up. And we have some great partners that have been working with uh, us on this program, namely Lutheran Social Services. Oh, yeah, they've been fantastic. And I want to give a shout out to them because they are kind of spearheading this this project. Uh Um, They worked with us last year when we did the Unslut documentary um, viewings. And after doing that, they kind of wanted to continue on that theme. And we came up with the... Um, the issue of consent as being something because that's something that they're seeing in their work. Sure. Um, but they've just been fantastic to work with on this. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're bringing a lot of real world expertise to this, um, you know, because as librarians, as library workers, like we're concerned about it, but, you know, we're also not social workers. We're sure. not. It's not your world. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so they're able to kind of, you know, bring things that they've learned from their actual work with people, you know, kind of out in the trenches Mm -hmm. um, to this. So Mm -hmm. I'm really excited that we're going to be working with them. That's great. Yeah. And a great panel of experts that will be there at the program along with uh, Lutheran Social Services. So Mm -hmm. awesome, awesome 
resources. And speaking of resources, we're working on doing what we can at the right. library to provide that. And, and you have one of the books with you yeah. today. I love this. It's called What Does Consent Really Mean? Uh-huh. Um, it's a graphic novel. I'll open it up. Um, so it's kind of, it's written for um, tweens and teens. And uh-huh. it opens up with a group of kids after school waiting for the bus. Um, and one of them's got her cell phone open and she's talking about, oh my gosh, this girl was raped and that's why she had to leave school. And so it's got all these like, you know, kind of teen girls gossiping about that and deciding what they're going to say. And one girl says, hold up, uh-huh. you know, it's not her fault that this happened to her. And the other kind of girls are like, you know, yes, it was. I heard she was drunk or I heard, um, you know, it was because of the way she dressed. And um, the other girl kind of comes back and is like, no, it, th- those things don't matter. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the boys come up and start talking. And so you kind of get their take on it. And the boy's like, well, I've heard she was, you know, really easy and this and that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the book is basically just kind of following these kids after school as they're talking about this incident that kind of sparks the conversation. Sure. Um, Sounds like a very real conversation. Uh, yeah. Not only with kids, but adults. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. And I, what I like about this is that it also gets into, um, you know, kind of the male point of view and the fact that the boys feel so much pressure to be a certain way. You know, it's like culture sure. is saying, you know, you have to be super sexually experienced and, you know, girls want a guy that takes charge. And so they've got all these confusing messages about how they're supposed to behave. And, you know, there's one boy in this book who's, you know, just kind of like, I don't want to be like this forceful guy. You know, mm-hmm. I don't feel ready for this. I just want to hold her hand. And, you know, so I kind of love that it's, it doesn't, you know, kind of generalize Sure. About, you know, boys are this way, girls are this way. You know, it's just kind of like these are kind of all the pressures we're under. And, you know, maybe there's different ways that we can look at this Mm -hmm. situation that, you know, we all feel like we know who's right and who's wrong. But it's a lot more nuanced than that. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And it's got great discussion questions in the back. Wow. Yeah. What does consent really mean is Mm -hmm. the name of the book. And who is it written by? It is uh, Pete Wallace and Thalia Wallace, and il- illustrated by Joseph Wilkins. So I- interesting. It's written by a couple. Yeah. So it has a more balanced view. Perhaps. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. And, and uh, it's another one that was written um, in Great Britain. Interesting. <laughs> it's like they're on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and But printed in the United States, so we were able to get uh-huh. a bunch of copies. So we've got this one. Um, there's also a graphic novel of Speak by Lori Halsa Anderson, which is a YA novel that's been out maybe 15 years, wow. and that was one of the first YA, YA novels that I can remember that kind of talks about um, the issue of date rape, um, and so it's this hugely powerful book, but to see it in a graphic novel is just, it's so powerful, yeah. um, and we just got copies of that, so that's another one I highly recommend, because mm-hmm. it kind of talks about this one girl who goes mute after what she experiences, and, you know, kind of the fact that, like, nobody believes her. Nobody wants to hear her side of the story because the boy that did this to her um, is beloved. You know, he's super popular. He's athletic. Sure. The classic story. Yeah. Um, so that's a fantastic book. That, that's very interesting. I don't, um, you know, of course, I'm, I'm old, so we didn't have books like this um, yeah. when I was younger mm-hmm. or growing up. But um, given a whole generation now that are being uh, given advice and assistance on how to handle these situations right. or at least being able to check out a book from the library that helps you understand a little more about the situation even if you're not getting those kind of discussions right uh, at home right so and it kind of what i love about it is it tells you you're not alone i think for yeah. so many young people Yes. And as we're seeing, like, with the Me Too movement with women, I think it's been so powerful for people to realize, like, I am not the only person this has happened to. Like, this yes. has happened to many people. Yes. Um, and that's not great. It's not great that that's happening in our society. But there's also kind of, um, you know, knowledge is power. And mm-hmm. realizing that this has happened to a number of people, you gives you more takes courage. the blame off of you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It gives you more courage to step up. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I, you could easily think, Oh, I am the only person. Yeah. Or this what has did happened I do? To. What did yeah. I do? It's my fault. Um, but when you hear other women and men speaking up about what they've experienced and it's like, yes, me too. So mm-hmm. very powerful. Um, where it's going to go, where this discussion goes in this country 
uh, with many discussions mm -hmm. we're having right now in our country, yeah. where things are moving, uh, will be. I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words. I want to say it'll be interesting, but it's more than interesting. It's it's important. Mm -hmm. It's um, life changing where we take these discussions right. in the future and make sure that they keep happening. You know, it's. I think these things can kind of go in cycles. Um, you Agreed. Know, it's like a lot of growth will happen, and then there'll be a backlash. Mm -hmm. You know, and then like there's a little more growth, and then some backlash, and mm -hmm. you know, it's. I feel like we're moving incrementally forward, but it's really important to kind of stay on it. Yes, um, yes. And maybe not back down when the backlash starts happening. Uh, yes. The, um, which it inevitably does. And, and I kind of feel like maybe maybe there's a little bit of that um, backlash going on now. Um, I, I, I'm not an expert on this discussion. I don't spend a lot of time reading about this. I read the news, so yeah. I hear what's happening. Um, but you, there's a lot of... We, we may be wading into an area here that we really didn't want to go, but um, there's a lot of powerful people being accused of a lot of things. Right. And those powerful people have resources to push back in ways sometimes that victims don't. Mm -hmm. And the Me Too movement is giving victims more of that power. So... We'll see what happens on this pushing back and forth. Right. And, and, um, and then there's people like me. It's like, what, what can I do to help? What can I do to make a difference? Um, fortunately, I work at a, <laughs> a library that's putting on programs like mm -hmm. this. Um, and you were instrumental in helping bring this program to the library. So those are things we can help do. Uh, choosing the books, letting people know that we have these resources. Yeah. Um, that's one way to do it. So, so I, perhaps we are already doing what we can, but I feel like there should be more. Right. Yeah. Um, maybe this would be a good question for the <laughs> panel right. for this. Like, what what else do we do besides, yeah. you know, we can't stop here. Right. Um, so, so what's next? Um, yeah, and what can you do if you're not, um, you know, in a position that you're working with young people? Sure. Like, I, I don't have teenage kids. I don't, sure. um, um, you know, I'm not a teacher. It's like, you know, luckily I can buy the books that we buy for the library. Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, what can you do on a bigger level? And I know, yeah. you know, sometimes people you know, are signing petitions. I've seen a lot of online petitions lately, you know, kind of about powerful people mm -hmm. um, who've done these things and asking them to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. um, so does that mean passing different laws or? Well, and sometimes it's, <sighs> it's institutional. Like I, before we started the show, I, a couple of well-known YA authors um, have been called out about their behavior at mm -hmm. conferences mm -hmm. um, and with, you know, young female hopeful writers, you mm -hmm. know, or, or fans even. Um, and in some cases, in two cases that I know of recently, their publishers have dropped them, which is huge. Yes. You know, for a big yes. name publisher to drop an author yes. that makes them a lot of money mm -hmm. um, in an industry that, I mean, there's a lot of women that work in publishing, but at the top, a lot of it's men. Mm -hmm. um, so I think for big companies to take this seriously enough to where say, they're saying, you know, no more. I think that's huge. And I, that comes with pressure from with, all of us. Yeah. So within their organization. Right. They have that power to, well, there we go with the power thing again, but they yeah. have the power to make the di the change. Right. To make it different. And, and we are seeing, you know, people, you know, just publishers dropping authors. There's television shows dropping actors. Right. Um, companies dropping presidents. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's. Yeah. It's and it's complicated, you know, at the same time, like, I, I don't argue for censorship. Like, I'm not at the point where I'm like, we need to take so-and-so's books off the shelf. But I think it's important to say, you know, you are an amazing writer with mm -hmm. a lot of important things to say. But your behavior, <laughs> you know, in Agree. industry events, you yes. know, or whatever, yes. you know, is is not okay. Like, that's got to stop. Yes. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of different layers. You know, it's like I've seen some bookstores that have been pulling, pulling some, you know, books. different authors' books off the shelves, and it's just like, I'm not ready to go there. Um, yeah, do you, do you try and erase that person's yeah. body of work? Um, yeah, these are it's just a complicated thing. Very complicated and, and very controversial. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see people who, who feel 
strongly both ways. Right, exactly. It's like, no, that person, that was wrong. But other people say, well, wait a minute, there are redeeming qualities, mm-hmm. Do, you know, wow. Yeah. Big question. Much more than we can handle right. <laughs> <laughs> on this podcast. Yeah. But what we can handle is what we can do from our point of view, and that's um, our, our work at the library, the, the great uh, resources you were mm-hmm. choosing for young people and even adults. Yeah. I could see that being helpful for adults as much as kids. Oh, seriously. And, yeah. um, and the program that we're doing, Consent and Tea, or Tea and Consent, and it's <laughs> they go together. Um it is at the Moran Prairie Library, North Spokane Library, and the Cheney Library coming up in April. These programs are free. They're open to everyone. Um, and we have great resources, a great panel of experts. So go to scld.org or pick up an Engage program guide to find out dates and times and all those things. But a very important program. Uh, we have a lot of fun Tiny. programs, but this is one of them that we do that's very important, too. So thank you, Sherry, for the work and bringing that to the district. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for being a guest on the show today and, and the great things me. that you do. You bet. Um, look forward to having you on again. Thanks. And until that time, this is Library Out Loud, and we'll see you next time. Library Out Loud is produced in Spokane, Washington by SpokaneTalksOnline.com, which is solely responsible for its content. Ask a question, recommend a guest, and hear this program again online anytime at SpokaneTalksOnline.com. Library Out Loud is brought to you by the Spokane County Library District and STCU. Go visit and explore your local library today.